Hi, it's Lori. Still celebrating my birthday month, and I have some things that I'm going to taste. And we'll see. We'll see if they're any good. Um, this one, I think, has been out for a while, but I've never tasted it. It's uh, the Molo Top Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. And I've seen it for a while, and I just happened to pick it up. So we'll give that one a shot. Welcome to my channel. I have lots of... Uh, playlists because I like a lot of different things. I don't just uh, do one thing. I do a lot of things. So there should be um, something for everybody. I cook, sort of. I don't teach you to cook. I don't try to teach you to cook. I try to cook and you get to watch me and see if it turns out and maybe you can offer me some suggestions on how to make it better or you can um, learn something new by the way I'm doing it. I, mean, I watch a lot of cooking shows. That's why I'm an armchair chef, because I'm not really a cook or a chef, but I watch a lot of shows. So I can, and I, I, I've seen it done. I don't, haven't done all of it, but I have seen it done. So, yeah, I'm getting warm again in my sweater. So, um, I also do a lot of shopping. So I share that with you too. I work at the post office 25 years, and I've decided to make a playlist about, um, packaging tips that I think of. I have a lot of observations over 25 years of things that have gone through um, the processing side of the mail. I've also been a customer for many, many years. And um, I've learned a lot of things between the two of those. And I'm sharing some of that. I'd like to share that with you. Maybe it'll help you be more successful mailing your packages so they get there. And um, so I'd like to help. I'd like to see things get to where they're going. It, it makes us feel good when we get the customer their mail. And so I'm uh, going to share some tips how to make things safer, more successful. Um, I have some YouTube channels. I have like over 300 YouTube channels that I have on my subscriptions. Some are very my favorite ones. I watch everything they put out. I'm sharing some of that with you couple at a time, different types of genres, some uh, adventure, some crime, some cooking, some shopping, some crafting, just all kinds of different channels. Uh, the things, things that come to mind first when I want to know something, I usually will go to their channels and look at it. So um, I have two little dogs that do cute things, so sometimes I put that up. And I live in Utah, so I'm trying to get out and do some things and share that with you. A lot of people come here. A lot of tourists come here, which makes it kind of difficult for the people who live here to go do things because we have to make reservations because they make the tourists make reservations. It's it's crazy. I've never had to do that before. I was in California, Southern California. And you, you wanted to go somewhere, you went. You did not have to make a reservation unless you were camping. So it was really, it's, it's really different. So, um, and it's beautiful. I haven't seen hard, I haven't seen hardly any of it because I have to make a reservation. <laughs> so, um, anyway, let's get on to the food. Let me try this. I, I love peanut butter cups. And this has got marshmallow on top, I guess. Oh, wow, it's melting. I've been talking too much. Is that supposed to taste like marshmallow? It could be these little donuts on my eyes. Marshmallow flavored cream. I guess you'd have to taste it by itself because the peanut butter and chocolate really overpower it. I guess so. What you can't go wrong with the peanut butter cup. I don't even care what's in it. I love the ones with the potato chips in it and the pretzels. So that's definitely a winner because it's a peanut butter cup, a real one. Okay, now I have mentioned some kisses that I was doing birthday cake kisses. Well, these are the cookies and cream kisses that I found, and so we're gonna try this. Oh, they're cute. 
they got little cookies on them on the foil little little silver cookies let me put try this i think i'm gonna like them but i bought them anyway sometimes it's nice to eat something you know you're gonna like Okay, well, it's okay. The birthday cake one had more flavor. There's other ones I like better. I like the candy corn one way better. I like the um, regular chocolate one was way better. Okay, now I found these. I think they've been out for a while. They're Cakesters. Come in different flavors, different manufacturers. This is the peanut butter one. They're just soft cookies with the peanut butter inside. From Nutter Butter. I like Nutter Butters. I don't get them very often. I like the wafer ones. They have mini ones too. So let's try this. Kind of a peanut butter cookie with whipped inside. So it's like a whipped peanut butter. They're good. This is nice instead of a hard cookie. A soft cookie that tastes like peanut butter. This is this is this is better than that chocolate that I had. This is better than the um, kisses. Pretty good. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna eat all. I should show this to you, didn't I? Okay, put that in there. Nobody else is going to eat this. I'm the only one here, so I will be eating all this or throwing it away. Depends on my mood. Now, I had purchased some peeps that were supposed to taste like Fruit Loops for one of my previous videos. They didn't have any flavor at all. And it said, taste like Fruit Loops. Well, I found... Kellogg's Fruit Loops jelly beans. I'm going to see if these taste like Fruit Loops because they say they are natural fruit, fla fruit flavors. So let's uh, open this up and take a look. We have orange, blue, red, yellow, and purple. Oh, there's a lot of colors. Okay, there's green. I don't need too many, just a couple of each. There's the orange, there's the blue, there's the yellow. What am I missing? Oh, purple. There we go. And there's the purple. Okay. That's it. Let's put four of each over here and then we'll. Uh, Okay, there we go. Very bright colors. Oh, they're rolling around. Okay. Very bright colors. These are the ones, the, the purple, the red, the orange, the green, the blue, and the yellow. I'll be tasting these. So let's see what kind of fruit they taste like. Let's take two at a time here. Let's start with the purple. See what the, they think the purple's going to taste like. Oh, okay. Instant Fruit Loop. Oh my God. How many of you have noticed that Tricks and Fruit Loops almost taste the same? Huh, huh, huh? Almost. I love Tricks. That was my favorite growing up. Oh my goodness. That purple one. Oh, it's de definitely Fruit Loops. Let's do red. That's fruity, a little more subtle. Not as strong. Purple one was very strong. 
And I say it tastes like Fruit Loops because I never really noticed each of the colors tasting differently. Because I just like eat a spoonful all at once and it tastes like one thing. And that's what the purple one tasted like. Red's not as strong as the purple. Still has a fruity flavor. Um, I expect orange to be very strong. Orange is usually always strong. My dog's looking at me. Probably trying to figure out what the hell I've got on my eyeballs. Orange is a little different flavor, not as strong as a purple, more of the Trix flavor, not as strong. Let's see if green tastes different. Oh yeah, have you, I told you on any of my videos yet that I had a crown pop off the other night while I was eating candy at work? My luck ran out a whole year and a half or two years I've been eating you know Mike and Ike's good and plenty spice drops at work well the other night decided to lift the crown up fortunately never came completely off but you know that feeling when it comes up it's like it's like panic oh my god couldn't remember if I had a root canal in that tooth or not. I thought I did. Apparently I didn't. Um, but you know what technology did? Technology nowadays. I went online to the website, made an appointment for 1130 the next morning. I was at midnight when I was able to call, go to the website. At midnight, I made my appointment for 1130 the next morning. Is that brilliant? That is advancements in technology. That is what we have now. there are good things and there are bad things about advances in technology. That's one of the good things. Otherwise I would have had to wait a week and go on a diet because I couldn't chew. Every time I chewed anything on this side, it started coming up. And have you ever tried to just chew things on one side of your mouth? That's very difficult. So I was getting ready to go on a liquid diet. I really didn't want to do that. So, yeah, that's not quite strong. It doesn't have a distinct, distinctive flavor of green or anything. So let's try the blue. So what am I doing? Eating jelly beans. Right? I know. I heard you. He fixed it. I have a doctor. He's called the Crown Fairy. Isn't that cute? He's a nice young man. <laughs> Everybody's young now when I go. But he's a nice guy. And the crowns are 3D printed. Uh-huh. And he only charges a couple hundred dollars for the crown. They're 3D printed. He doesn't jack it up because insurance pays for it or anything. I had one done up here. And he put like this heavy super duper cement on it. Because it was not a lot of tooth up there one of those way in the back and um i told him put the same stuff on this one <laughs> i want it coming off again <laughs> so yeah he, he used the heavy du the heavy duty super duper stinky nasty glue and uh so hopefully it'll last till next year i have to have some work done next year okay not very strong on the blue let's try the yellow I'm wondering if my mouth's just gotten used to the sugar and it's not affecting it anymore. I'm going to have to eat some more of that purple. Because that was the one that was the strongest. Let me try that one again. Because that was the one that really tasted like Fruit Loops.
Okay, it's very possible that's what's happened because the purple one's not as strong as it was the first bite. So it must be your mouth kind of desensitizes to the sugar a little bit and everything's just really sweet now. I wonder if I'd started with a different color if I'd had the same result. Maybe, huh? But yeah. Okay, I have one more thing. I'll put these aside. I probably won't eat them. I'm having to give up my chewy stuff. I'm not sure what I'm going to replace it with. Probably chocolate. Maybe sucking chocolate so I don't have to chew anything. That's a hardship. Replacing chewy with chocolate. Oh, oh, I tore it open before I showed you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me put it back together. <laughs> it's, I think it's, let's see. It is, oh my God. I thought it was Palmer. What is it? It's not Palmer. It's R.L. Albert and Son. I think I got this at, um, got this at Winco. They have all kinds of candy stuff. It's a chick marshmallow. It's called Peekaboo Chick. It's a Belgian milk chocolate egg with a hatching mallow chicken side. So, okay, now I'll open it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. This isn't one of them hot chocolate things, is it? Is there instructions? No. Yeah, no instructions. Okay. There's something in there. Okay, let's get that over here. Open this up. Belgian chocolate's very good. It's molded. It's two halves. So, do I crack it? <gasps> yeah, you crack it. <gasps> Look at how cute that chick is. <gasps> it's sugary and candy and it's got wings and a head. This is very cute. I didn't expect something to be this cute. I expected it to be all deformed and everything. So, but the eyes are on top of the head. But <laughs> other than that, it's kind of squishy with sugar. So I think it's a marshmallow. Shall we eat its butt or its head? I think I'll go for the butt. I don't want all that hard stuff. Oh. That is hard. That is way harder than a peep. Really chewy. Not much flavor. But it's a nice chewy. It doesn't dissolve in your mouth like a, a peep sort of does. It's small. It's just a little chewy. That wouldn't be bad to give to the kids. That's cute. 